and welcome to another Heavy Metal Gamer video blog. And as you can see, YouTube is the topic. Now, I know a lot of people have been going on about how YouTube is handled as of late, or even in general, and there has been a lot of great videos on this topic. I myself was going to do a video topic a little while back, but never did until now. This video blog actually took me a bit to work on because of what I wanted to say. Usually with these, I just do a shoot the shit type of thing, but I don't want to come off as an angry rant or anything like that. I want to express how I feel about this YouTube shit, but I don't want to, you know, lose my shit and start breaking stuff. Obviously not any angry ranters I know do that, but you get my point. Now, normally I don't express my hatred for YouTube like many do, and I'm not saying that those are wrong to do it because I agree with them. But I felt that I had no place to really go off about YouTube at this time. I mean, there's things that I do kind of go off about on Twitter and Facebook, but that's just there. And then I ran into something that really did piss me off with YouTube. Now, over the years, I have seen people messaging me or commenting saying that YouTube unsubbed them from my channel, and I have seen people say that they were unsubbed by YouTube. And I always thought it was bullshit. People just making shit up and so on, just making an excuse for unsubbing. And you know what? That's fine. If people want to unsub, I'm okay with that. Now, I want to say this now, if someone unsubs me, it's not the end of the world to me. I'm not going to get angry. Some people do get angry, but not me. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Just like when YouTube gets rid of dead channels and you might lose 25, 30, 100 subs, that doesn't bother me. And you might be thinking, well, why are you bitching about YouTube automatically unsubbing you? Well, the way this is going on is not right at all. Not too long ago, I was browsing YouTube and channels I subscribed to and was going to watch some content. And there are times where I like to watch some channels that I might have missed their content. Sometimes it's tough for me to watch everyone I'm subscribed to. I mean, you have 24 hours in a day, you're busy for many of those hours, or you just want to relax, whatever. Well, I started off watching a classic game room video and I noticed I was unsubbed. And I thought it was strange because I was subscribed in the past. Then I noticed I was unsubbed from Review Tech USA, Metal Jesus Rocks, and some other channels as well, some big, some small, and it really had me wondering, well, shit, I never unsubbed them, so what the fuck happened? Then I went into my other kick-ass channel section, and I noticed I was not subscribed to a handful of them. And that pissed me off, because I never unsubbed them, and I wasn't seeing anything from them come up. Usually I do. So the whole thing about YouTube unsubbing you is a real thing. They automatically unsub you from certain channels. All this time I thought it was bullshit and people were just full of shit when it was actually real. So I kind of made a post on Twitter and had a few people say that yeah this has happened to them recently and they were even subscribed to channels that they never subscribed to, some of them being the Fine Brothers. So this really questions me what YouTube is doing with our channels and our subscribers. They are unsubbing us from channels we enjoy and giving the subs to the corporate dick suckers like the Fine Brothers. I haven't got around to going through who I'm subscribed to and, and who I'm not subscribed to anymore, but I did check the Fine Brothers page and I wasn't subscribed to them, thankfully. I'd probably be even more pissed off and ranting like a madman if that was the case. Now here's a little scenario about all of this, because some of you might still be thinking, what, what's the deal? Who cares? Let's just say I was a big YouTuber and I was good friends with another big YouTuber. We might know each other in person. We might have met up at gaming conventions and whatever, and maybe we collaborate and so on. And all of a sudden, one day I was unsubbed, and I didn't know that, and I came across their channel and I resubbed, thinking, oh, okay, YouTube fucked up. Well, you do get notifications on subscribers you get, and all of a sudden, maybe that person would message you and say, dude, why'd you unsub me? I thought we were friends. Did I say something wrong? Did I piss you off? Then you have to tell them what's going on, and they might not believe you. And it could blow up into a bunch of bullshit drama. That is one reason this is bullshit on the automatic unsubbing. Now, would I be mad if this happened to me? No, I'd understand. I'm quite understanding. If it was me when I first started, maybe. And even if they did unsub because of something I said, it's not a big deal to me. I've lost subscribers before, and I've gained some. And at the end of the day, I'm very happy with what I have. The point is, it could lead to tension between friends, and even cause people to fight over it, and get into a big YouTube war. Which, there's already enough bullshit going on in the gaming community, and this YouTuber hates this YouTuber, and that person hates this person, and there's a lot of hate videos going around, and so on. That would just add more to it. Now, if people want to express their hate for a YouTuber, that's fine. I have expressed my hate on Twitter and Facebook on a certain channel. Actually, a few channels, but more so one channel than anything. But if it was two YouTubers that are good friends, and it led into a big fallout, not the video game, 
of bullshit and then they get their subscribers involved and then it just turns into an unneeded bullshit fuck fest not in a good way <laughs> i think that's the wrong word to use but you get my point and this is just an example of what could happen now to those of you that may watch this and if not that's fine too that see i resubscribed and we're thinking i unsubbed i do want to apologize for that i don't think i've ever subscribed to a channel and then unsubscribed them that i can think of other than if the channel's been dead for years and they're not coming back. I know some of you might not care that much, and I totally understand. Some of you might not even watch this, especially the bigger channels. I don't see Review Tech USA watching this, or even Metal Jesus Rocks. I know he's commented on a few videos, and that's really cool. I really do appreciate it. And I don't think Classic Game Room's going to watch this either, but I'm just saying I apologize to the smaller channels, and to those of you that might have seen that I resubscribed. It's just fucked up that YouTube did this. And I do subscribe to a lot of gaming channels. I do watch a good amount. Some days I can't get around to watching everybody, like I said earlier, because I'm either busy or whatever, but I try to watch here and there. And it just seems like YouTube wants to fuck with people and it's mostly the smaller channels. And that brings me to what the fuck is YouTube's deal as of late? I mean, yes, we all have known that YouTube has handled things really piss poor over the years but you know when it comes to the whole fair use thing these big channels getting shut down or copyright strikes against them never happened back in the day it was all small channels like myself i lost my first ever channel ar productions 2009 because of this whole fair use shit this is why the hashtag wtfu that you've been seeing going around and people like alpha omega sand and mundane matt and a few others have been talking about actually more than a few others and you know i hate hashtags but it's one that i can follow because there are many things that can be used as fair use in videos that should be used as fair use of course you get these people saying this won't help anyone but the channels that make money wrong this affects all channels the way youtube is running their shit I have been lucky enough to only get warnings, but you never know that one day I might wake up and my channel's gone. Hell, with all the warnings I have right now, there's more than enough to just get rid of me. And that's all from using video game footage and even 30 seconds of music here and there. I just think YouTube needs to be a little bit more lenient with the fair use thing. It's just a damn shame that YouTube has done this, but anyways, what is your thoughts on this? Do you think that YouTube's doing the right thing? Do you think it's wrong? Obviously, a lot of people are going to think it's wrong, but what's your thoughts on the automatic unsubscribing? You can talk about it below. I hope you enjoyed this video blog. Yeah, it's a little short compared to others. Thanks for watching.